doctor, if your baby isn't waking up to nurse at least eight times a day, if your baby falls asleep or stops nursing right after latching, those could be signs that your baby isn't really feeding at all. Now, when it comes to diapers, if your baby has fewer than three poops a day by day three, or if your baby still has meconium, which is that black tarry poop by day four, that's a time to call your doctor. Also, if your baby's having fewer than six wet diapers a day, or if your baby's not back to birth weight by two weeks old, those are reasons to call your doctor. Now, there are also some warning signs for moms. You should call your doctor if you are having heavy vaginal bleeding, like soaking through pads every hour, or if you're passing large clots the size of a peach or bigger, or if you or your baby have a temperature above 100.4. Speaking of high temperatures, Laura, I've had friends who've had mastitis and they said it felt like the flu. Yes, a fever, chills, or body aches, those could all be a sign of mastitis, which is a bacterial infection in your breasts. It's not going to hurt your milk or your baby. In fact, you really should keep breastfeeding, but you might need antibiotics to help it go away. So it's good to get it checked out by your doctor. I've also had a lot of friends who got really sad or cried a lot, and they've had trouble sleeping or eating, and they felt very anxious about their baby. Those are all really common as well. It's called postpartum mood disorder, and it's real, and it affects a lot of moms but moms can get help to feel better. If you don't feel like yourself, it's okay. Just call your doctor. That's really good advice, Laura. I think one of the most important things to remember in the beginning as a new mom is that it's okay to ask for help. 